Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. I'm Sam. And today we're reviewing Russell's 10. Alrighty, so as Kelly just said, we're reviewing uh, Russell's 10. Uh, now this is a wild turkey release. Uh, it's by Eddie and Jimmy Russell, their recipe. They've been around for ages doing, I don't know, they've been doing bits in the bourbon industry. Uh, we've got the 10 today. Uh, small batch and we're gonna do the cask or well, not cask strength it's the single barrel it's 55 percent to compare it with because that is one of our favorite bourbons of this entire year so yeah. we'll compare it to the 10 which is i don't know it's got a really good reputation at this point so we'll mm. give it a crack all right so as many as you probably have noticed over the past few zoom episodes i haven't been drinking out of an actual whiskey glass like a nosing glass um but today we've changed up i've Got this nice little Lafroy nosing glass. It was a giveaway at work, but I just kind of snaked it. Yeah, I mean, I like I like the Lafroy glass. I like the branding and stuff on it. It's cool looking, but mm. I don't know. I, I feel like I need the stem on the bottom of the Glen Can. At least it's the right shape though. Like it's, it's pretty much exact same shape as a Glen Can. It's got like a lot of extra glass down the bottom though, so yeah, you can actually hold on to that and it doesn't warm up your whiskey. Mm. But I mean, that's more the Glen Can's more effective. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little, it was a nice little giveaway though, offering, so. Yeah. Oh, it's a good, I love when distil, well, not distilleries, but when like whiskeys will come out and they'll have like a little set and you get the bottle and the two, you know, a set of two yeah. glasses. Like we've gotten the Glen Livet ones, the, uh, Jack Daniels or no, Johnny Walker ones. Jack Daniels, yeah. Um, and there's Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels. You've got the Lafroy ones. I got Lafroy. Yeah, there's a few. I love them. I reckon they're so cool. Just even as just a collector thing. All right, as I said before, this is Wild Turkey Distillery, so um, you'll probably find a fair few similarities in the taste uh, to maybe like the rare breed. I think mm -hmm. we had it when we were doing a comparison of the Russells, and they were pretty comparable. They were right on one with each other. No, there were a few differences, but they were still you could tell. You know, you could tell they were from the same family. Yeah. But um, yeah, the 10 is, so what the 10 is ringing in at, uh, what is it, 45%? 45, yeah. yeah. And what's the single? The 55. 55, yeah. So it's a full 10 points ahead. Jumping off that um, wild turkey rare comment, you when you were actually mentioning that, I get the exact same notes as the wild mm. turkey rare out of this, even though it's a lower proof. I think it's what, 15-ish? points lower than the rare i think it's the rare is like a 59 yeah so even though the rare is so much higher in alcohol content the russell's really holds up in the flavor and nose yeah well, i believe the uh rare breed has a lower rye percentage mm. and it's like a, it's kind of like a cherry bomb so like even when we did the russell's and rare rare breed comparison um the russell's is a you know three or so points below it in alcohol volume but it still yeah. tasted hotter because of the high rye content it still was more challenging than the rare breed the rare breed's just like i don't know it's got so much flavor and character but it, it's pretty easy to come you know like it's pretty easy to come to yeah all right so on the nose of the russell's 10 there's a very classic bourbon note so there's the vanilla which is in basically every bourbon and there's also a really rich caramel um nose yeah it's got like some of that spice as well so it's, mm. it's really tending towards that uh stereotypical uh, apple pie note the cinnamon and some like uh star anise and cardamom and then there's just like the caramel the brown sugar the vanilla a little bit of fruit it's not like heavy fruit uh apple fruit this time but it's still almost there. molasses kind of yeah it's very caramelized mm. But it's not just caramel flavor it's like all the flavors in it all the notes are caramelized yeah it's really nice though i love it it's great with bourbon all right so i think we should compare the russell single barrel with the 10. i reckon it will be a good uh comparison i'm not sure if they are different mash bills i assume they're not but um i think they're the either same. way they'll, they should still be somewhat uh com comparable so we'll give that a go yeah so i'm gonna finish my 10 because i don't have another glass with me mm -hmm. Alrighty, so we got the Russell single barrel, uh, 55%. My camera doesn't focus very well, so we'll just skip that. Um, Curly. 
You can pull yours. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, on the nose, it jumps out <laughs> so much more. Jesus. I keep, I gotta back it off. I'm used to the 10, the 10 points lower ABV on the other one. It's even, it smells higher in rye. I don't even know if they, if it is. Like, it might be the same mash bill, but. It smells a lot richer than the 10 is. Yeah. More like, there's like some uh, raw tobacco in this, some earthier notes. Mm. Some more barrel bitterness. I don't know. It's more waxy as well. That vanilla and caramel is still like shining through though. Like yeah. it's, it's there. The same the same notes from the 10 are there. They're just way stronger in this. Yeah, for me, the nose has such a more pronounced barrel bitterness than the 10 does as well. Yeah, definitely. For me personally, there's more of that banana note as we normally talk about. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like a banana note is not like... I don't know. I think it is just the barrel bitterness. Mm. Like for me, I don't really get banana anymore except from things like Jack Daniels. For I me, only like, say I banana. I recognize the note of banana that I used to get now. Bizarrely, doesn't taste like banana to me. Like I identify it as barrel bitterness, like the barrel impact. Like I understand that it is barrel impact, but I still call it still yeah. On the nose, banana. I definitely do, but yeah. on the palate, less, a whole lot less. And it's not. I don't mind it at all now. Like I used to hate it. Jump into the taste. Ooh. Yeah, <coughs> it I follows through the exact same thing. I sipped it like it was the 10. Yeah. <coughs> Caught me off guard a little bit. It's mm. like, yeah. It's so it's much the richer just though. just cranked up like heavily. So much richer. Deeper yeah. flavors. I might, I like when I'm, I don't know. It's like I've got melted like candy in my mouth. Like it's so, it's so thick and rich. I don't know. Fat candy. It's like syrup. Not, it's not overly sweet though. Like it's, I don't know. It's beautiful. It's a very nice bourbon. Yeah. Very nice. All right, let's roll this one out. I think, uh, for me, the Russell single barrel is my favorite. Yeah, uh, definitely. The 10 is not too far behind. Uh, I just, I much prefer high proof bourbon anyway, but for a lower proof bourbon, the mm. Russell's is, the Russell's 10 is, uh, it's pretty much, it's right there with like, a, what do we got? Michter's 10. Uh, not big, just 10, mixed just bourbon, one of yeah. the other ones we love, and, you know, uh, the double-baked Woodford Reserve. It's double right oaked. there with those ones. <laughs> double oaked. I still can't talk. I still can't say it. For me, the Russell's 10 is, like, the perfect kind of budget bourbon. It's only around 60-ish Australian dollars, which it's is like pretty 60, cheap. It's, like, 60, Yeah, and then and the, then the Russell single barrel is, like, 80, 90. 80, 90. So, like, but I'd probably easily pay that much. I'd probably pay the car strength price just because yeah. it's such a richer, deeper bourbon. But um, I, thought, I thought I think it's like totally worth, like they're both affordable enough in Australia to, for me to like warrant buying both. Like I'd love both on my bar cut. Yeah. Because the 10 points in alcohol really does change it enough for me to kind of like want one or the other depending on how But that's the thing, like we're higher proof people. So like yeah. I would definitely buy the car strength over the 10, but I would also buy the 10 if that makes any sense. Like they're both yeah, no, extremely no, nice. Too. Exactly right. No, I, I reckon that's fair. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. Uh, we hope you liked our review and leave us some comments below. Tell us what you think of the Russell's 10 and the Russell's single barrel. If you've got any views, if you compared them yourself. Anyway, check out our socials below. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.